Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time it's the Mattel Jurassic World Dino Rivals Battle Damage Albertosaurus. Now this was a figure that a lot of people were anticipating when they first saw it online, mostly because that the sculpt and the detailing looked amazing. Now finding this figure has been um, quite an issue for some people, including me, because it took me four Walmarts to find this figure. And the first three Walmarts I checked were in the nicer areas areas of where I lived, which is Orlando. And unfortunately, they didn't have any uh, new of the Dino Rivals, like, you know, the Albertosaurus or the Dual Attacks. And my last resort was a Walmart, uh, was a Walmart and unfortunately, the much, the much worse side of Kissimmee. And, yeah, kind of weird how the, creep, the Walmart in a creepy area had, you know, all the new Dino Rival stuff. But as you can see, um, the packaging on here looks awesome. It's about the size of, say, the Action Attack. As you see, you got um, Jurassic World logo right there, and then you know, uh, Rexy right there, and then all the other stuff in the front. And on this side, you got Jurassic World logo, and the other side, you got uh, Battle Damage logo. And then on the back, you got the artwork of the dinosaur toy, and then other three figures right here, including that um, unreleased Pteranodon. And of course, you got, you know, how the action features work, and then all the other stuff. So, let's waste no time and get this uh, Albertosaurus out of his packaging. Now, here is the Albertosaurus out of his packaging, and I have to say, this figure looks amazing. So let's start by taking a look at the detailing first. Because, um, as you can see, the detailing on here is pretty nice, especially around the legs and the head area. As you can see, the skull right here looks pretty nice, even though there is uh, plenty of shrink wrapping. But then again, this really isn't supposed to be a scientifically accurate dinosaur. And see the skull from the other side, you can see all the scales right here, and also the... Um, uh, spikes and osteoderms on the neck. The osteoderms continue all the way from the back of the head all the way down the tail. And um, the detailing across the body looks pretty nice. As you can see, this is a very muscular dinosaur, especially in the legs. And the feet right there, they look uh, well detailed. And they're not um, uh, as oversized as, say, on the, the T Rex or the Spinosaurus. They're, you know, perfectly proportioned and it balances well, despite, you know, the size of the feet. As you can see, the arms right there, you got some muscle in the arms. And no paint on the claws, unfortunately, but that really isn't a huge issue. And as you can see, the scars right there are sculpted instead of, like, you know, sloppily painted on the battle damage chomping T-Rex. On to the articulation of this figure. You've got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine points of articulation, including this pretty stiff jaw. On to the paint job. And as you can see, it's mostly a swampy green with... Uh, some red on the head right here and it doesn't even go all the way down the body and on the bottom you got you know a sandy color on the jaw and it goes down the neck and honestly i'm not really a huge fan of this paint job i just wish that the um the red color continued all the way down the tail and it probably would have looked a bit better and also if there was like you know some um, type of striping right here or if they continue uh, you know the sandy color down the belly so yeah that's you know a bit lazy on mattel's part right there now let's check out the gimmick of this toy and like all battle damage dinosaurs, there is, you know, a sliding battle damage right here. And unlike one, you know, sliding door, there's actually two of them. One for the ribs right here. And inside, you know, it's a, a rubbery, squishy uh, guts right here. It's actually pretty cool. But what I like to see Mattel attempt, um, you know, making a battle damage dinosaur with a removable piece. I like to see how that would turn out. And then putting the ribs back is a bit difficult, as you can see. Kind of, you know, uh, slide your finger in between there or your thumb. And sliding this back up is relatively easy. So yeah, it's a pretty cool gimmick. I hope that Mattel makes more large battle damage figures with this feature. And here's the little scan code for you guys right here. Starting with the comparisons, as you can see, we have the Battle Damage Alberta Source next to the Attack Pack, Dracorex, and Velociraptor Delta. So far, these guys are the only Dino Rivals figures I have. And I'm still looking for that Concavenator. Here's the Albertosaurus next to some other battle damage dinosaurs. The only ones I don't have yet are the Pteranodon and the Yellow Velociraptor. And unfortunately, that Plesiosaurus still isn't released yet, because that was one of the Dino Rivals figures I was looking forward to the most. Here's the battle damage Albertosaurus next to the Action Attack Carnotaurus. And as you can see, these two figures are around the same size. Here's the Albertosaurus next to the two other Tyrannosaurus of this line. And yes, Proceratosaurus is a Tyrannosaur if you guys didn't know that. And, of course, here's the Battle Damage Albertosaurus next to the Collecte Mini Zephactinus. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my review on the Mattel Jurassic World Dino Rivals Battle Damage Albertosaurus. And, yes, I do recommend you guys picking up this figure. It's a really awesome figure. In my opinion, one of the best of the Dino Rivals figures. 
In my opinion, this whole Dino Rivals line has kind of been a hit and miss for me. There's some that are really good, like this Albertosaurus. Some are okay, like the Parasaurolophus. And some are just bad, in my opinion, like the Rampharynchus. So if you guys want this figure, you can pick it up at Walmart for $20. And if I had to give this figure a rating, I'll probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. I just wish that it had a better paint job and that the tail was larger. So if you guys like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.